Now, what, it depends on which collection you talk about, because, you know, we got like the record collection, the CD collection, the sneaker collection, the hat collection. I mean, all of it is it's all a problem. But I tell you, I mean, I'm not I, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I love doing music and I love things that are fly. Right. So, I mean, there's a ton of books laying around here. I love to read. Um, but if we talk about hats, the first thing man, I got a really big head, man. So I had to find out that I could fit a hat first and foremost. And then once I fit a hat, I went and bought like mad hats that I never would ever wear again just because I could fit them. And I had to kind of find what my style and what my flair was going to be. And uh, I was a big sneakerhead. Like I was a big, big sneakerhead. If you look back like 15 years ago, you know, I was getting on on stage with a pair of Dunks, a pair of PRPS uh, jeans, you know, some T-shirt with you know, Biggie on the cover of it or something like that. And like a bomber jacket or a blazer, you know, something like that. And then one day I was like, yo, we're going we're gonna to dress up a little bit. And I just kind of, I won't say I lost the taste for sneakers. I just don't invest in them as much as, I mean, at one point it was, I would come home from three shows with three boxes. Because every, you know, a show in Detroit, what up? Let me show you the best food spot and the best sneaker spot. And you got to invest. You're going to walk in. They, you got something crazy on your feet. They're like, yo, that's crazy. Let me show you what I got. You know, this is this is the, the Mork and Mindy dunk. Yo, I got to get them. These are the De La Souls. Oh, my God. You know, so I was just going crazy. And it's sad to tell you that, you know, this garage, I got, I got like just boxes of pump. I mean, massive boxes full of shoe boxes, full of, full of sneakers. I got a homie called uh, named Andre who got a, a nonprofit called it's it's from uh, from the soul where he uh, refurbishes sneakers and he gives them to homeless people. He's given out tens of thousands of sneakers and I've probably given him probably half my collection um, just off of off of that. Um, and then it but it's moved into like. This is bad, but my shoe closet is bad. <laughs> my shoe closet is like, is like just dumb, you know. So what I will tell you is that, um, you know, we started like, you know, just shooting different stuff. I started shooting a podcast, started doing like a daily meet with my process group. And this was really the exercise room in the basement. And I was like, uh, we were going to do a photo shoot. And uh, what happens is usually... So this is a summer hat right here, right? Boom, summer hat. Summer hats are storage during the winter time. Uh, that's a winter hat, right? Winter hats are storage in the summer. And I, I said, yo, dope photo shoot would be if I put all the hats on a wall. And I gave him options. Like, this is my office. This is this other wall. He was like, I know that's the exercise room, but it'll be flying in. And I was like, yeah, my wife is going to kill me, but let's do it. <laughs> and then, uh, so I put it out. And uh, we just took over. We're going to have to put the exercise equipment somewhere else now, man, because it's like, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. But I mean, it just really showed a hat collection. And of course, you know, like, I'm just constantly, constantly collecting. And now it's a part of me now, you know, now it's a, uh, now it's a, uh, you can't, you can't, see, you can't see me without one now, you know, pretty much. So enjoy your collections, man, whatever, whatever you need to collect. But, uh, you know, my book collection, vinyl collection, CD collection, all of it is it's pretty bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I mean, when we when we first bought this house, which which was, it was just, it was a little bit bigger than our last house, my vinyl was in my parents' basement. So I had like ten thousand CDs, and I convinced my wife to bring that into the house, right? <laughs> so she's like, I mean, I literally had like a whole hallway of like this shelf from top from floor to ceiling, the whole hallway of just CDs. She was like, yo, you can bring that in, but you ain't bring that vinyl in. And I was like, all right. So then we put the vinyl in my parents' basement. So as soon as we moved this house, I was like, I probably got 60% of the vinyl here. I still ain't get, I, like every, every time I go to my parents' house, I come home with a box, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and you know, we slowly add to it. But yeah, it's, it's not hoarding. It's, uh, you know, it's archiving history. That's what I call it.